Welcome to my collective build log 3B by myself, JD Slow Thumbs. This is a helicopter collective made by splicing a slide potentiometer into a joystick throttle. I'm using a 100k ohm slide pot and a Thrustmaster USB joystick. Open the bottom of the joystick and find the throttle potentiometer. In my U Thrustmaster USB joystick, the pot was marked to be 100k for 100k ohms. So I chose to use a 100k ohm linear slide pot with 4 inches of travel. Please notice that I'm experimenting with a cheap $20 joystick instead of an expensive $400 Warthog. I remove the pot and solder it onto the three uh, wires. Make a note and remember which color wires are on the two ends and which color wire is in the center. The ends are hot and in return. The center wire senses the position of the throttle. I use three different colored wires about four feet long and splice onto the three wires. To cover the splices with insulation so they cannot short to, to anything. Uh, secure the beginning of your new cable and run it out through the hole left over from the original throttle lever. Here the pencil is pointing to the original throttle potentiometer with orange, brown, and violet wires coming from the left. Here the, splices are, here the wires are spliced to the violet, green, and gray wires. The uh, splices are covered with heat shrink tubing. The wires are secured with hot melt glue to the inside of the joystick housing. And they go out through the hole where the original potentiometer was. Not all slide pots are linear, so it needs to be checked for linear versus logarithmic. Logarithmic will also be called audio taper. Check it with an ohmmeter. 50% should be about the halfway point. Here's a little carrier for the uh, collective so the collective lever can drag the body of the pot up and down along the side of the mounting plate. Now we get to the shapes that make this work. For more details, see also my video, Collective Fundamental Shapes, in my playlist. For developing my experiments, I used a particle board pl plate bolted to the side of a dining room chair that I got at a thrift store. The magic of 30 degrees. The sine of 30 degrees is 0 0.5. We have a 2 to 1 ratio, so for 4 inches of travel on a slide pot, we need to go out 8 inches from the pivot on the lever. For the friction tightener, I am using a carriage bolt, at least 2 layers of cork rubber gasket material, a wide fender washer, and a wing nut. You need something that does not compress all at once. Compression will be adjusted in degrees of turn on this wing nut. You need a gradual adjustment instead of all or nothing. According to what I have learned on the internet, and your mileage may vary of course, during a typical helicopter flight, you adjust the throttle to idle and press the starter only at the beginning of the flight. Then you adjust the throttle to maximum and the governor takes over control of the throttle versus RPM. Then you are ready to take off and go flying. After la landing at the end of the flight, you throttle down. It sounds to me like four clicks with a mouse can take care of all your throttle and starter needs leaving the collective lever as the active ingredient. Also, I have learned on the internet that for helicopters in Microsoft Flight Simulator X, FSX, that your throttle controls the collective and that the propeller pitch controls the throttle, but not defaulted to automatic. So, assuming a prop controls throttle is set to automatic, then a throttle controls collective only configuration might fly like a fixed pitch RC helicopter or quadcopter where you increase throttle to go up. Please subscribe. I plan to publish more in the near future, 2018. Collective like build log 3B, this video. Collective like build log 4B, using PVC conduit accessories with starter button and throttle knob. See playlist. Collective like build log 5C, featuring a twist throttle and more functions on the grip. See the playlist. Coming soon, collect the fundamental shapes and collective lessons learned, some that work and some that don't. I am publishing the parts list for the digit key part number for the slide pot. Thank you for watching my video.